I love racing, to be honest. I haven't been to Wexford before, and it's a lovely little uh, racetrack. I mean, it really is very cute. A lot of women that come here today may not dress up every single day of the year, so I think it's a kind of a treat for some people. They put a lot of emphasis into this. I know, speaking to some of the ladies here, that they've made their own hats, or relatives of theirs have made their own hats. People are becoming a lot more creative. Style is a very individual thing, and I think style really is about how you carry off an outfit. You should wear the outfit rather than the outfit wearing you. And I've just had a little look around, and I've given out some wristbands to ask the ladies to join us for a drink when we make our final selection. And there are, it's a very varied um, style here today. I have to say, the emphasis, I ha I, what I've seen so far, is all on the hats. The women seem to be wearing very plain um, block colour dresses and putting all the emphasis into the hat. It's a really good idea when you are dressing up for the races not to wear too much pattern and a hat that's very dramatic as well because I think it can fight with each other. So some of the ladies today have the right idea in keeping the outfit plain. I, I'm sure you heard recently that Ascot fascinators are banned and they want the hats to bring back. It's almost like we're going back to a very classic, old-fashioned type of racing style. My dress is from Littlewoods, Ireland. Littlewoods are sponsoring Ladies' Day, of course, here. This is by Holly Willoughby, one of the celebrity designers, I suppose you could call her, that Littlewoods have. And I think it's a fantastic uh, dress because it's appropriate for most figures in the sense it's, it nips you in here at the waist, and I think that's very good. And if you're curvy, or most women are, have a, a few curves, I think this type of dress will work on, on most people. It's also, I think, quite classic. It's a little bit of, a, of the sleeves that are capped on that. I like that if you don't want to bare your arms totally. You still can bare your arms with having a little capped sleeve. And I think it's, uh, I, it, it caught my eye, and I like the little bit of red pipe. My suit is from LK Bennett, I got it last year, so I'm getting another wear out of it, it's great. Um, my hat is from Adele Ramberg, um, just quite summery and the flowers are kind of all in bloom at the moment, so that was the inspiration for that. Um, my necklace is vintage freshwater pearls, which was a gift from my um, work colleagues. Um, my bag is from Karen Millen, and my shoes are from Littlewoods to add a splash of colour um, to the outfit. So. The hat I made myself last year as part of the Key Capital Young Designer of the Year competition uh, in UCD, and my outfit is the closet range from Awear. Um, the bag and shoes are my mum's. I'm here with my best friend, my mum, and my aunt, and they're all wearing my hats as well, so I should get them all out for the day. <laughs> fantastic day and you know what I couldn't believe the style was so diverse now really it was very difficult for women because of the rain and all that but I had, some of them styled their outfits with the most glamorous umbrellas I've ever seen in my life but of course there can only be one winner we picked 10 finalists and one winner and a lovely girl that has won and I have to say very inspiring because it's two young designers from Gorey, a label called Doll. I'm sure we're going to hear a lot more about that. Susanne Evers got the big prize, 2,000 euro, and her hat was made by a milliner in Galway, and she looks absolutely divine. I was torn, but I had to make the decision in the end. I am absolutely ecstatic. I certainly didn't expect it. The fashion here today was absolutely incredible, and um, I thought the girls in the final were absolutely stunning. My hat is by Fiona Mangan Millinery in Galway. My dress is by two young Irish designers from Gorey in County Wexford, Neve and Colette. It's called Doll by Ruby Rouge and this is their Autumn Winter 2012 collection. Um, my bag is borrowed, my umbrella is from Avoca and my shoes are present from my parents. I suppose so many girls nowadays, especially around my age, they look to Kate Middleton for style. Um, I think, I suppose I would describe my style as kind of classic elegance with a little bit of a twist. Um, I would go racing quite often, however, I've never dressed up before, so this has been a huge surprise. I'm usually in the back flatting the horses rather than out the front for best dress, so this has been a wonderful day now, I must say, in Wexford. It's just been fabulous, and the sun is shining, so that's all we want. Cheers.